Welcome to Calabar, the capital of Cross River State, where the executive governor, Senator Professor Ben Ayade, is leading an aggressive revolution for economic and social transformation known to Cross Riverians as Ayadeism. With various ongoing projects with a clear vision and defined timelines, Calabar is set to become one of West Africa's leading investment hubs. Widely known as the center for tourism, Cross River State is regarded by all as the most peaceful state in Nigeria. Footprint Africa paid a working visit to His Excellency, Senator Professor Ben Ayade. We witnessed a pivotal handover ceremony and participated in various sites and project visits. Schools Company UK, alongside Footprint Africa and Falcon Universal USA, held a press conference presided over by His Excellency, Senator Professor Ben Ayade. Official handover of the Construction and Fabrication Academy to the Schools Company UK also took place. Cross River State, you will recall that I made a claim coming there we are going to build an international school, international school of world class talent. And that's what took me to Canada when I had long sessions with the Canadian Bureau for International Education. That also led me to meeting with this team in the UK, which is also the world class school standards. The school is just not another school, it's an international school of world class talent, a school that is digital in all perspective. A school that allows the children to have an international exposure, even while in Nigeria. From the Calabar seaport, we took a trip to the Twins Island, where ongoing work for the proposed Calas Vegas city is underway. According to an interview by His Excellency, the city of Calas Vegas would be the most digital and sophisticated city, and also a tourist destination for Africa. During our visit, we observed that His Excellency is working hard to attract intra-African and foreign investment into Cross River State. The group vice president of Dangote Industries Limited, Mr. Sani Dangote, was a part of the delegation. He confirmed the readiness of his group to partner with the governor in furtherance of the Ayadeism campaign. Footprints Africa also visited the proposed Cross River power plant, which upon completion would have a generation capacity of about 21.3 megawatts with plans for expansion. The plant is expected to be commissioned on the 29th of May, 2017. As power generation continues to stifle the developmental growth of Africa, Cross River would witness an increased power output, which would in turn lead to increased productivity and economic activity in the state. Next stop was the garment factory, which has an estimated capacity of over 2,000 sewing machines. The facility has the capacity to employ over 1,500 youths, thereby reducing the scourge of unemployment in the state. You're welcome to the Cross River State Garment Factory, the largest garment floor on planet Earth, and indeed the biggest in Africa. Behind me here is a large amalgam of young widows, in particular, young men and women put together by Cross River State Government as part of the program to create a new economy. We have a total workforce of about 3,000, with a huge workforce that can sustain the economy of the entire state. It is indeed true that this garment factory was occasioned by the challenges of unemployment here in Africa. But we are happy to announce that with the strong support of the president and indeed the federal government, this factory today is a reality. And it's nice to announce that we already have contracts, the production of the Nigerian police uniform. We're in good discussions with the customs we have massive orders already from the Nigerian Peace Corps, the DOPT of the Akwai Bomb State. And as we expand the horizon of these projects, it is obvious to us that jeans, t-shirts, fresh caps, and all that we import from China, we intend to domesticate here and produce out of here. Cross River State, therefore, is calling on all the military and paramilitary agencies to please do their uniforms out of Cross River State. Take also into consideration that we don't only do uniforms, we are actually good at producing domestic apparels, your pyjamas, your inner wear like your pants, your socks, your t-shirts, your singlets, your face cap. We produce all of that out of this factory with a total staff strength of 3,000 with more to come even as we are about to expand. It is obvious that Cross River State is taking the lead in the industrialization process. So this is a, a welcome invitation to all potential customers. Please. 
come work with Cross River State Governments. Our trading is fantastic. Our machinery, fantastic. The training is ongoing. Production has started. Thank you and welcome. The upcoming rice seedling factory aims to improve the agricultural sector in the state and also the general well-being of Cross Riverians. At the factory, different varieties of rice will be developed and given to the local farmers for cultivation and economic empowerment. Also on the site, there are proposed research centers and demonstration farms and a rice mill that will be used for processing and packaging of rice. To maintain the serenity of the city and for the ease of business activities, clearing has begun at the proposed Hollage City that will become the home for tanker and trailer drivers entering or leaving Calabar. Senator Professor Ben Ayade, in the spirit of continuity, also continued the infrastructural development project begun by his predecessor by laying the tracks of the monorail at Sinapa and commissioning same. Without a doubt, Ayadeism is taking Cross River by storm. Cross Riverians are highly expectant of a modern, transformed Cross River that would soon become a top global destination. With an increased power output and multiple avenues for job creation, Cross River is fast becoming a worthy investment hub.